My name's Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Alrighty, so we've got the fish tank all full of water, all the way to the very top, and we're gonna let Vila catch some fish in it. Ooh, that was a cool chase. Look, she like spiraled up with it. That was super cool. This is the best lighting, Joe. This time of day. That's awesome. That was such a cool chase. She like corkscrewed with it. Wow, she's really holding her breath. Oh, 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 almost had it. Oh, keep going. Oh, she switched fish. Now she's got to start over. Oh, get up. Take a break there, Fila. It's just getting to it. Fila, your box is over here. Ready try again? You need to grab her. She's like, I can't reach up there. Vila! Vila, come here, I'll help you up. She's like, I'm too little, I can't jump that high. Oh, oh, so close. And as you see, having those multiple fish really put her at a disadvantage because she can't just wear one down. She, she'll she chase one for a minute and then start over on a fresh one. And so we purposefully have it at pretty much the hardest level for her. The water's as deep as it'll go and we've got several different fish in there so that she can't just chase one down till it's exhausted. She has to catch it with skill as well as uh, pure determination. And that's the point she's progressed to where she needs it as hard as she can get it because she's obviously very, very good at it at this point. Oh, 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 oh. oh she's so close. Oh, so close. Oh, she, get, she ran out of air. Oh, oh, man. He's so wet now. Oh, he just started trying to kiss me. <laughs> Oh, so close. Oh, she should switch. She should have stuck with the one she was on. Oh, you're me wet. Oh, wow, you're all wet. <laughs> you're gonna get me wet. Fish. If she would just stick with one, she would wear it down. Oh, 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 oh. That was such a cool chase. She lost it last minute. She's really going, going on some long dives. Thank you, Ellie. You can stand over here by where Joe is. You can get a better view. I don't know if she's getting a good view from there. Same one. Yeah, you can really see how having multiple fish make it this Oh, 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 she oh man. Fishy, fishy. <gasps> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, she oh, caught it. Good girl. Good girl, Vila. Good She's job. like, where's my food? Good job, Vila. Good job. Good Nink. You feeding her up? Yeah, after all that, she's definitely getting fed up. She worked hard for that one. That was really fun. Man, that was a really fun little chase. So this was like the most difficult we could get within this fish tank. So I basically had leveled things up all the way to the very peak. So these fish were all experienced. They'd been chased by the mink, so they were clever and knew how to escape mink. Number two, the water's full as, as it could possibly get. Number three, it was mostly empty. As you saw, she had a lot more of an advantage over by the rocks where she could kick off the sides and kick off the rocks to propel herself. And it was more difficult out here in the open. And multiple experienced fish. Yeah, had we just had two or three fish in there or one fish in there, she would have caught them pretty easily because she would have just wore those fish down and then caught them when they were tired. And then the last thing is the fact that it's the end of the day. This is in the evening. So this tank of water has been heating up all day. So the water's at an optimal temperature to give the fish that extra boost of speed and energy. All of those factors combined made it a good hard challenge for Vila and I was excited to see her continue to persistently chase them despite the difficulties. Uh, she's definitely ready to get out and chase some wild fish. So pretty soon here, hope to get some videos of her uh, catching crayfish and maybe some fish as well. And um, yeah, so stay tuned, we'll show you more. Ow. He's so cute. These little guys are seven weeks old now. Uh, you can see how quickly they've grown. Oh, you guys are getting so big. They're just about ready to go to their new homes. Just a couple more days, we'll start sending them off to their new homes. Oh, you're getting so big. <laughs> Daddy's turn. Oh, thank you, sweet girl. Hi. <laughs> Who are you? Aww. Are you my little girl with the pouch? You're my little girl with the pet. Having a little puppy on your back? She's like, I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> Thanks for watching my channel, and I hope you've been enjoying my videos. Before I let you go, I just wanted to quickly share with you an article that was written in The Modern Entrepreneur that shares some interesting details about my life and the early beginnings of minkinry. This article gives more an in-depth story than I've ever shared with you, so if you're curious to read it, just click on the link in the description below. <laughs> I'm helping. <laughs> you're helping? <laughs> well, be careful. I think those are a little too hard, Abby. Get your toy, go play with the toy. Ellie, Ellie, that's enough. That, no, don't play with that one. Ellie, no, no, don't do that one. Go get something soft. Please, so soft? Yeah, go get something soft. <laughs>